have something new on the bench today. This is a lithium polymer battery. It's marked as Tracer. I believe this battery pack is used to power a, a lamp that's used for dogging. Uh, um, hold on, no, that, that's not quite right. Dog walking. There you go. And this lamp is so that you can see your dog when it's about 10 miles away. The complaint here being is that this battery is not holding charge. Sounds familiar. Okay, what do we have? Let's turn the lamp on. Okay, so it's got some. Let me have a look around the pack. Tracer. Say anything? That's it, this has been battered. And that says 22 amp hour. Output nominal 12 volts. Okay, what else is there? Okay, probably a charging port. And the outlet wires. It looks like a gauge. Well, the customer said that this gauge is broken, but it looks like there's supposed to be a little knob in there. There's one thing notices as well. See, these look like homemade terminals. Maybe it's been broken or something. But look at this. This looks like PVC wire. It looks like it's melted. There's probably lots of current coming from this. That one as well. First off, I'll check for voltages. Should be able to get in there. Positive or negative. 11.1 volts. Okay. It's storage voltage for lithium polymer. Also obtained the charger for this uh, tracer. It's a bit dark, I can't be seen. I'll put 12 volts to amp. And a, looks like a 2.1 jack. I've connected my homemade meter up to the or between the battery pack and the charger. The voltage is a little bit off, but I'm only interested in current. This is a half a volt out voltage. So just connect up from the charger that's plugged in. And it's taking some current. Not much. And dropping. That's been charging for about an hour. It's going nowhere quickly. See, the current is less than half an amp. It's showing 11.3, but it's probably about 11.8 actual. But this charge is supposed to be good for 2 amp. Otherwise, it's a very, very slow charging rate. I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. For this voltage to rise, it's not it's showing them 0.3 on there, 0.36 amps. I'm just going to check it with the meter. Okay, so they both tally now. Okay, I trust this more than I trust that, so it's still only 11.3 volts and current dropping. Okay, it's possibly shows there's an internal problem with this. Either the battery or BMS. It looks like the screws are hidden under the cover. This is the back of the unit. What's this cover there? Oh, somebody's been inside this before. 
I've been peeling this cover off looking for screws. Don't seem to have any. Up the top. So it looks like there's no screws holding this together. What do I expect to see inside? My money's on a lipo pouch cell. Hey! Does one side come off? Ugh, pouch shells, and I hope they're going to be Lily Mayon. <laughs> First glance is they're not swollen, seem to be any damage. Maybe a BMS problem? What does that say? 13th of the 5th, 2011. Wow, it's pretty old. Yeah, I was going to, I was going to check the individual cell voltages. So that one is 3.7. There you go. Get uh, your hand out of the way. If we do that, you can see it. So, just about 3.7. Half thumbed. And that's the last one done. Drop my hand down, yeah, 3.7. Okay, so the cells are balanced. I'll just have to assume it's the it's the BMS that's causing me a problem. Let's see if I can source one now. I've done an internet search for this kind of BMS. It's not available, don't be silly. It's about nine years old. But I found something that may do a similar job. Sure. So before I before I order anything, I'm gonna see if I can charge up these cells in their pairs. One, two, three lots of charges. See if the batteries are sound. I just noticed something about the um, actual casing. There were screw holes in it. But it just fell apart when I took the uh, this black rubber off. So somebody's been inside this before. So, cell 196, cell 293, cell 3, 10, 8. So, hmm, yeah, I've got plenty of time. It's going to be about two to four weeks be before my uh, replacement bits arrive. So I'll discharge them separately. Those are the results of the three cells. Rather disappointing. Let's get down to there's one of them, uh, six points. Oh, let's get a bit closer. What's that saying? 6.5 amp hours. Well, it should be about 22. Let's see again. What's that say? 6.7. The last one, seven point. I can't even read that. Was that seven, seven point three or seven point eight? But it should be 22. That's the new BMS installed. Uh, 3S BMS. Never sure if that's focused or not. That's it, nearly back together. New, new gauge on that. All taped up, everything's safe. Just need to put the, the other cover on. It's a bit of tape to hold the halves together. I think I need a little bit more. That's the gauge. Two bars at the moment. It's only on storage charge. I need to have discharged this. I need to charge it up again. I'll put this back on charge. It's taking 1.77 amps at the moment. That's the charging complete. Let's see, the current's dropped to zero. It's taken about 16 and a half hours. I'm just probing the... Probing the output leads, 12.1 volts. We plug in the lamp. Turn it on. Ooh, it's much better. 
Brighton the first time. I forgot to check the battery gauge on its fault. I need to put a bit more tape around this, but it, this came wrapped in tape anyway, so just to close it up a little bit. It's battery gauge, say. Oh, yeah, keep your finger on it. Four bars, that's fault. And that's it for this job. Send it back to the customer. If you found that useful, give it a thumbs down, thumbs up. Waste of time. Just don't forget the kebab.